go out and live life and do what you want to do. I got an email over the weekend that another one of my dearest friends at work is resigning. <laughs> slowly start to fade out and it's also kind of like a time thing it's like is it time for me to maybe look at some other things I want to do with my life too so I don't know there's that we are let's see can you see I'm in downtown Cleveland it's kind of like you can see a couple buildings it's the Browns Stadium first energy stadium I had a good weekend I'm ready to jump into the week and get organized at work because my desk is out of control right now it is like out of control and I got all this stuff I got to carry in to work with me so I just decided to park downtown time to pay the fare it's the only thing I hate about when I got to downtown spending my money damn it what's the license plate from I always forget now I gotta walk back to the car so y'all, is it just me or does it seem like on mornings when you like get up early and you got extra time, somehow that time still ends up getting consumed and you still end up either at work the same exact time or even late. I had to go look at the plate number cause I forgot it. And I'm like, if I don't have to take the kids to school, I forgot it again. <laughs> I keep forgetting the license plate number for the parking thing. Okay, I got it this time. Photographic memory. I took a picture of it. But yeah, I left out the house like way early. Not left out the house, but I, I got up way earlier. Um, Tony took the kids to school, so all I had to do was just drive to work. And I'm still late. How? <sighs> like, I suck at this. All right, time to pay the fare for real this time. nine stinking dollars okay just to go to work it's craziness Good to go. they're having 
having those fits because they're teenagers but their mental wellness is so freaking important and even though we don't understand because it's a generational thing and their generation is completely different than ours whether we want to believe it or not and the problems that they deal with on a daily basis are completely different than ours so we can't always relate personally but we can at least try to understand and like I said I know as parents or me personally sometimes I can find myself being passive instead of really like listening to understand and make sure that they're mentally okay with what they're dealing with so I'm gonna try harder with my older boys even the young ones that are five and seven and my little girl but especially the boys that are coming of age and they're getting into that puberty stage I want to make sure I'm paying attention to what they're going through and making sure that they have the mental tools um like that they have the um support system that they need so that they're mentally healthy just give them a little bit of extra attention and let them know we're listening today let them know that we care about what they're going through even if we personally don't understand uh the teenagers their their mental well-being is so very important so just take a moment if you have a teen know a teen just give them a little bit of extra love today because it is teen mental health awareness day and with that let's go ahead and get into <laughs> this week's body update i'm smiling because i'm recording this before i go home and get on the scale so if i'm still smiling in the video we'll see but i got a feeling that it's gonna be okay if anything i got a feeling i'm gonna be like right where i was last um last week because yesterday I was exactly where I was last week for weigh-in. So maybe maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be a little bit under. But at the very least, I'm hoping I'm like right where I was this week. So let's see. Comment of the day is going to go to Mika Fasting Weight Loss, who I've actually followed for a very long time. She said, I'm glad you aren't too upset about the weight being the same and still enjoying yourself. She saw the video I posted yesterday where I went out and had a good time, even though I knew my weight really wasn't going down. So thank you again, Mika. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me know what you guys think about detox teas. Not to make it like a once every week or a long term thing, but I want to use something natural and I want to maybe try a detox tea. I've done it in the past and it's worked, but the weight always comes back. And that's not necessarily, I don't think, due to the tea. I think it's due to me going back to old eating habits. 
habits but I think this week at least one day this week I'm gonna try a detox tea and I'm also going to start in incorporating um, apple cider vinegar again which is one of those tried and true I feel like um, methods to kind of cleanse your body and jumpstart some weight loss but yes so you may see that coming soon I may do a one day or two day um, tea detox and like I said let me know your thoughts on that if you've done it before if it's stuck and like really gave you a good jump start on your weight loss or if it just was kind of those things that's like okay yeah I lost weight for a day or two but then it all came right back you guys know every day is for learning living and loving I'll talk to you tomorrow